overuse of it, of, of excessive abuse of it, that tends to create an energy or an odor that will turn people off. <clears throat> that predatorial type of thing, that weird response that people don't understand, but they, they're acting weird to us. My buddy, I told you, is just terrible with women. He's just, he just doesn't know how to handle it. He's so out of control, it's crazy. He hasn't had a date in 20 years. Uh, it, you, you cannot have it under control. It's just, it's just running rampant. It's, it's, it's loose. You, you were abused as a child. You were misdirected when you were young. Whatever the case might be, you were hurt, this, that. Who knows? It doesn't matter. But whatever it is, it now also needs to be brought in and tamed and compressed so that it, that energy and that dynamic can be used for what? Well, if it's not being used for fornication, then what's it used for? It's used for your magnification. It's used as your magnetism. That's part of your charm. It's part of your appeal. It's part of star quality. We have to address it in a safe place, explore it in a safe place, and learn how to use it in a safe manner, just like you would learn any, how to use anything else that could be dangerous. Hand you a knife, hand you a gun, hand you a lethal weapon of any, any, any type. You've got to learn how to use it. I believe in the martial arts, they get to a certain level in, in belt and status where they actually can be classified as lethal weapons, yeah. where they are so skilled and trained as killers that they are classified as lethal weapons because if they're not managed, if they're not contained somehow, that can be a really bad thing. And it's no different with us. So instead of keeping it packaged up, and let, instead of letting it run loose and rampant, learn that it's a healthy thing. And how you do that is you're not a, you don't want to fear it, you want to address it, and you want to learn how to exercise through it. This studio is an environment that allows you to do that, to come in and explore this, to see where, how much, how little, where, when, but it's always generating, it's always moving, it's always putting out a, a pulse, it's always putting out a signal, because that's the signal that the camera loves to photograph. When does Kenny G elect to stop blowing and move his finger off a note when he's playing that beautiful instrument of his? That's the art, art form of, of the, the, him, him as a musician. No, when does the dancer know when to take the next step or move the next move? When does the, art, uh, the, the artist know how much paint to put on and where the stroke is? Where does the actor know how much sexual energy, how much of that should be brought in or should not be brought in? It's all part of you learning your instrument and, and, and all of these powerful aspects of our instrument as opposed to, oh, there's my line, I learn my line, I deliver my line, ooh, watch, I can go over and pour a drink, hey, I'm an actor. Yeah, not in this class. <laughs> Not in this class, we're we'll tearing into your passion, your magnetism, your energy, your sexuality, all of these aspects that are a part of why we want to tune into you. Why do we want to go see a, a Kyle film? Why do we want to see a JR movie? Why do we want to watch a Colin TV show? Why do we want to follow Tom Hombarger or Sue? Why do we want to look at any of you doing any of what it is you do? Why do people want to do that? There's got to be something there that's interesting enough for them to want to dial in, to tune in, to watch you work. Right? This is a major part of it. When we audition, when we work, when we do a scene, when we show up on set, any aspect, any manner of, of us exercising our, our craft, working our, working our craft, we need to be full on, locked and loaded, all pistons firing, redlining, bringing it the whole time all the time, showing up, because the competition is too intense and the business demands it. It just demands it. you got to be at the, that doesn't mean screaming and hollering and yelling, it means being present. Being alive, alight, awake, alert, joyous, enthusiastic, full-on present with where you are at that point in time. There. That's what people are expecting 